Hello and welcome to part three of the Bungalow Architectural Visualization tutorial series. This is David Ward. When last I left you, we had gotten the basic uh, floor plan laid out, um, ready to start putting the walls up. So right now I can see that I have a little place right here that I need to fix real quick. So there we go. Okay. So uh, now one easy way to do this is just to go to our front view, just hit the one on the numpad. Excuse me, and just uh, hit the B button to get the selection crosshairs up and just click and drag across those top ones. And as long as you, well, as you can see, if, if your limit selection to visible is turned on, this is what will happen. So let's turn that off so we can actually x-ray, see through, have x-ray vision on those, and then we can do it again, and it'll select all of the ones on top. So then all we got to do is just drag it up, and most walls <clears throat> are usually... Not sure if this was the case back in the 40s when this book was published, but we'll we'll just go with that. We'll say eight foot walls. So, well, since it's already one foot high, being a one foot square, actually it's six inches square, isn't it? So let's do this. Let's go G 0.5 Z. So it goes up uh, uh, a half of a foot on the Z axis, which is the vertical axis. And now we've got a one foot high wall. So if we go now G7Z, we should have eight foot walls. So if we zoom in here, we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight walls perfectly high, perfectly eight foot high. <clears throat> now that we have our walls raised up, there's a few things that we can do to make this a little more uh, realistic. And that is to add some headers over the doors um, and then also we need to add the uh, the windows into the, the walls there. So the way we do that <clears throat> is most doorways are seven feet tall. Or actually, uh, let me measure. I've got a doorway right here. Hold on, let me measure it. Okay, just measure my doorway and it goes up six feet, eight inches. So we need to put a line in there. So I'm going to go control R. And actually, that's only going to put around whatever section I happen to be on. So I want it across the whole the whole shebang. So what I'm going to do is hit uh, Shift K and that's going to open up the knife tool. I'm just going to click over here and click and drag it until it's straight across there. You can see if you've got some jagginess to the edge or to the, to the line, it's not straight. So just move it up until you get a perfectly straight line. So we'll go bink. Go ahead and click. Oops. Try it again. Boom. I guess, okay, what we need to do is not, we need to select, deselect everything, or select everything. Ah, okay, selected faces required. Okay, so just hit A to select everything. Shift K. Now, click and drag across there. There we go. And it doesn't really matter if you make it 100% straight right now, because we can fix that easily. So just click in there, and just hit the enter button, and there we go. We have a nice cut across all of the walls, even the ones that are not connected. So the way we get it perfectly flat is just to scale it on the z-axis. So just hit S, Z, 0, and it'll scale that perfectly along the z-axis. Now we can zoom in here and make sure it's going to be 6 feet 8 inches from the top. It looks like it's pretty close already. So since these are 8, foot, eight, feet, tall, uh, eight feet tall walls, we need to come down 1 foot and 4 inches. So here's 1 foot here. If we zoom in here, that's where that dividing line is. We go one, two, three, four. So we need to bring that line up on the z-axis to right there. Okay, so now we have where we can put our headers in and also the tops of the windows. Now the bottoms of the windows, let me measure that. Be right back. Okay, those are, at least my windows in my house, are two feet from the floor. So all we got to do now is, same thing, just come over here and just select everything. Shift K, and we'll just click and drag across here. <clears throat> there we go, hit enter, SZ0, and then we'll zoom in here and drag it up until it's two feet from the floor. Okay, so now we're ready to knock those walls out and put windows in, and then put headers over the doors. <clears throat> now, one thing to look uh, ahead to, look into the future of this, is when we start adding materials to it, Typically, the materials on the insides are going to be different from the materials on the outsides, obviously. So, it's a little easier if uh, 
there are two separate pieces. So right now, I know I filled, on, filled in all the edges, but to be honest, it's a little easier to put, excuse me, to have just the fronts and insides separated as, as two separate pieces for when we put uh, materials and, and textures on there. So what I'm going to do, <clears throat> you can do this if you like. If you don't want to, don't have to worry about it. But I'm going to go Control, uh, actually uh, hold down Alt, Shift, and I'm going to right click. Actually, let's get the Edge Select tool. If I can do the right thing here. There we go. Uh, control, Alt, and right click on the edge there. Actually, let's go to Face Select. There we go. Just select all those faces around the edge. We'll just do that across the whole thing here. We'll have to deselect some of these as well because we don't want to get rid of all of them. Oops. Got to hold down Shift real good, real well. And then set the period button so it centers it back on the screen. There we go. If you got a problem where, like I just did, where you accidentally zoom out too far and you're trying to zoom in but it's not wanting to zoom very fast, you can hit the period button on your numpad and it'll reset the scene and you can zoom around it a lot easier. Okay, so now we'll just select all these, select all these, just all of the edges, tops and bottoms of these walls. <clears throat> so it separates the insides from the outsides. Just clicking on those edges. Wrong edge. Long edge again. Let me zoom in a little bit better. There we go. And then here, good to go. And then here, oopsie. There. Oops. There. And I guess we go ahead and do this one here. You know, one thing that might be a little easier. Kind of just do it all in one step. Make sure your limit selection of visible is turned off. And then just click and drag across the top. Click and drag across the bottom. And just hit delete. And it'll delete all of those tops from the bottoms. And then we can come in individually and um, do all the, the places like in the doorways and such. So bink, bink. Then we won't have to worry about undoing the edges there. So there we go. So. Once we get this all set, um, we can put facing on all of the doorways. Um, and if you don't want facing, uh, like on some of the entryways and things like that, you can just leave the edges there so it's a complete mesh, if that makes sense. But otherwise, I'm going to put edgings on all of them. It, you know, it might have been easier to do this from the beginning, but uh, in any case, it's not too hard to do it at the end as well. This takes a little bit more time. On this, since it doesn't have a top, when you click on the edge, you have to click on one that's already down in the wall, like that one there. Instead of the top edge, you have to go down the edge a little bit. Okay, so just do that. I'm going to leave... Uh, this part into the kitchen. Eh, let's go ahead and do it. We'll just put uh, the the uh, the edging around every door opening and then every window as well. Once we get the windows cut out, and then the outside back door, and right here, and that one, and that one. And I think, okay, one more. That one there. I think that might be all we need to do. Just go ahead and delete those faces out. And, yeah, I think that's good to go. Okay. <clears throat> now we can fill in those headers and then cut out the windows. So let's fill in the headers. Just get the line, the edge select tool. Just select one edge here and this edge here. Hit F. And that'll complete that. Good to go. Do the same thing over all the doorways. Basically, all of these openings will have, oops, let's do it one at a time there. There we go. Okay, so 
Slow but sure. Into the bathroom. That'll be handy once we get to start doing the doors. We, we only need to model one. Oops, wrong edge. There we, go. there we go. And then we can just duplicate it over to everywhere that needs a door. Okay, so this side of the house is almost all set. There we go. And we'll put one over the... You know what? I'm going to leave the kitchen one. Eh, hmm. It's going to leave it open, but since it's a doorway, I guess we can go ahead and, if I can select the right edge. There we go. Okay. And then this open this entryway as well. And then this one. Oops. Huh, it's not showing it as selected. Oh, I got some some uh, vertices that are on top of each other. So if you run into that, you can just select everything and hit W, uh, remove doubles. And you see it removed eight vertices. So there were eight vertices that were in the exact same spot. So I don't want that. We'll go ahead and get that. And then finally, the outer door there. Okay, I think that's... Everything. Oh, one more, one more, right here and here. Okay, is that everything? I do believe it is. Okay, so now let's do our windows. Let's go to our front view and kind of come to perspective view again. Let's get our uh, face select mode. There's going to be a window there. There's going to be a window there. And let's look at our, <clears throat> excuse me, our top view. And going to wireframe, uh, let's just select everywhere there's going to be a window. We'll just select those two edges, like so. And then, oh, it looks like these edges aren't straight, so I'll have to fix that. But we'll get our windows out of the way first. And then there, and that's the door. So, okay, so that's all our windows. Now, we don't want to delete those because they have the headers and... I guess you'd call them footers underneath. Also selected, so we want to make sure we deselect those. So you hit B and then hold down Alt and click and drag, and it will deselect those. So now we have all the window openings selected. So we can go ahead and delete. Actually, tell you what. No, that'll work. Okay, go ahead and delete these faces. And I was going to say, I tell you what, uh, some of the windows, like in the over the kitchen sink here, is going to be a little shorter, and then the one in the bathroom is probably going to be a little shorter as well. Let's take a look at yeah see that <clears throat> excuse me that's for the gibson though but uh let's take a look at the gibson yes that's the bathroom <clears throat> excuse me sorry i just had dinner a little while ago my throat's a little gurgly but uh this photograph is of the gibson here so you can see this window here is a little shorter because it's the kitchen window over the kitchen sink so it kind of it doesn't come down quite as far so we're going to make that one a little higher in our model as well so, go to our top view, back in the wireframe. Uh, this is going to be the kitchen window. <clears throat> so, I'm going to do just like I did on everything else. Select everything, shift K to add another cut across everything. want to keep everything with the same amount of, of vertical and our vertical lines. So, I'll just click enter, and then we can go to edge select and make sure we select that line S Z zero, good to go. So now in our bath or excuse me our kitchen window, which will be, let's see, I guess this one here, yeah. We'll go ahead and grab the edge select and do like we did on the over the doors, just fill that in like so, and then we'll do the same thing over here on the bathroom window, which will be this one here. Okay, so now before I go any further, let me go ahead and fix this closet situation over here. Select those guys and just bump them down until those lines are nice and straight. Got a little bit of difference right here. There we go. Okay, and then we have a little bit of difference right here. Just hold down Shift. You can drag it more precisely. Okay, so now we have our walls all set, ready for windows and everything, and doors. <clears throat> So, uh, I think that's going to be it for part one, or excuse me, part three. Um, 
running into 15 minutes here. So I guess in part four, we'll get in and I guess start adding the, the trim to our doorways and windows. So that will be part three. So that's going to be it for part, that will be part four. So thank you for watching part three, blah, blah, blah. I'll see you in part four.